Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this microscope made by Ann Love. Now you can find this microscope here on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. By the way, on Amazon it is $110, so hopefully it's pretty good for the price. I'll go ahead and show you around the box here. You can see 7 inch HD uh, display right there. You can see what it looks like on the side here. Amazon label right there. It's got uh, eight LED lights. We'll, of course, be testing those out. See how bright they are. Right there, it's adjustable, of course. Photo resolution and video resolution right there. And then on the back here, you can see what you could use it for. Here's the model number, um, image resolution, stuff like that, in case you're interested. So uh, there it is. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Looks like you just pull right here. And well, here it is. Take this off. Looks like we have a user manual right there. A little remote. And some other things right here. I'll be probably setting this uh, up off camera. But maybe I'll do it on camera. I guess we'll go ahead and see here. There it is. And then here is the base right here. It looks like it even comes with a little CD. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I might have to use that. I don't know. Guess we'll see. And then in here. All right, so what this is, is I believe this mounts to here. And then this little bit here where the camera is goes through there. So that's pretty cool. So there it is uh, so far, it seems pretty decent. So uh, yeah, there it is. All right, so here we have the microscope uh, set up. It's actually very easy to set up. I'll go ahead and show you how in uh, just a few minutes here, but let's go ahead and do the basics, uh, such as how to turn the thing on. So what you do is right down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you got a power button. You're gonna press and hold that till the screen comes up. Go ahead and give it just a second to load up the camera, and there you go. Uh, down here, I actually have an old uh, Macintosh, Apple Macintosh uh, motherboard right here, and I have it zoomed in on here. And you can see it's actually pretty dang good quality. Uh, I'll go ahead and move it around here just to show you some I don't know, other chips and stuff like that. Go ahead and bring it over here. See right there, it looks like we have a Motorola chip. And you can see you can adjust the focus right here. That's way out of focus, as you can tell. And you turn it the other way to get it perfectly in focus. Right about there looks pretty good. And again, the quality is actually uh, very, very nice. If you're having trouble reading these numbers and stuff on these chips, go ahead and just get this thing out and zoom right in and you can see it. Absolutely no issue. Uh, very cool. So that's a pretty basic function, just how to turn it on and just basically how to get right into using it. All right, also right now I am in photo mode, as you could tell. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here uh, to take a picture is we're gonna press this button right here. And you can see it just took a photo. I'll go ahead and put that photo up right now. Um, assuming it looks like what is on the screen here, uh, it should be a pretty good quality. So there's that photo. Uh, you can also change around the modes here. You just simply press this button right here. And you could go through here, go through the settings, here you have your down button. You could change uh, sharpness, image quality and stuff. I have the resolution here at, uh, looks like five megapixels right there. You can see the setting that I am using. And then I also have the image quality here at high quality, which I believe is set in high quality from the factory. Um, so there's that and you go over here and change the date and time. And I also have a screensaver turned on. As you can see right there, uh, it is actually turned completely off from factory. So there's that, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get out of there. And uh, there it is, that's some more basic functions. I'm not sure if you press okay here. Uh, looks like it, okay, it just takes a photo. So that's uh, also another button to go ahead and take a photo. You could use the okay, or you could use the picture button right here. Uh, so there it is. Also right over here on the side, you have your uh, brightness adjustment right there for the lights down here. You have a light in here, light up in here, and then a light right here. And you can adjust those from here. It actually appears, okay, so this, 
uh, light adjustment actually only adjusts the one up here. It doesn't adjust these little single ones, which by the way, these are actually pretty cool. They swivel all around and stuff. Pretty nice. Uh, so keep that in mind. You also over here have your um, SD card uh, port right there, which has the SD card already in it. And then you also have, it looks like a charging port right here, uh, micro USB. You also have what looks like a headphone jack right here. And this actually attaches to a remote, which is pretty cool. As you can see right there. Also attached to this headphone jack looking port right here, it goes down to the main base here and that actually powers up these little lights right here, which is very, very nice. For the remote here, I'll go ahead and scoot this uh, entire unit forward here so you can see the entire screen. Uh, what you have here is your arrows up and down for when you're in the settings, changing around the modes, which by the way, there's a button for on the remote right here. Pretty nice. You also have this button right here and that is to play back the videos and you could also switch in between uh, both photo and video mode from this button right here. You can see there's the video that I took earlier. Pretty nice. And then you also have a button here to go ahead and take a photo. As you can see, I just took a photo or you could go here and go to video and then start recording a video just like that. You can see it is now recording. Uh, pretty cool. I like this little remote very handy instead of going on here and you can move this thing around and stuff so the remote definitely makes this entire experience really a lot better all right so like i said earlier i wanted to show you how to assemble this so what you're going to go ahead and do is get this bit out of the box right here and then back this old nut uh, or knob off uh, completely and then you're going to go ahead and start threading this into the base might take you just a second here you want the greatest threads uh, it even took me a minute to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and get it started here. All right, so I've got it started here. Again, the threads aren't all that great. It's not meant to come apart more than, you know, maybe once or twice. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and thread that on. You're going to tighten down this nut here. Ain't going to go anywhere now. You could still turn it, but it takes a good bit of effort. Uh, next, you're going to go ahead and get this screen assembly right here. And you're going to go ahead and drop it in right here. Just like that and then you've got these little knobs on the side right there you can see those two little black dots right there and you're going to go ahead and tighten that up and that will secure the screen to the uh, little arm assembly right here also to adjust this to raise and lower it what you're going to go ahead and do is you can loosen up this knob if you want it's not really required but you just go ahead and move this these two big knobs right here and you can see it raises and lowers both the screen and the camera, which by the by the way, the screen here, it does in fact swivel, which is pretty cool. Uh, also back here, you have your micro USB port uh, for this right here, the little remote. And then you also have the brightness adjustment for these lights right here. Pretty nice. All right, so there it was an unboxing and a review on this microscope. Uh, overall, the thing actually seems to be pretty good. Uh, image quality is actually pretty good. I'll just go ahead and throw my knife under here just to show you guys. You can see it is pretty darn good. Uh, zooming in on that Mac motherboard, um, I believe in the video I was zooming in on a connector and uh, that thing, that connector in real life, very, very small. On camera, it makes it look very big. Uh, so this thing is definitely working well. Uh, seems to be relatively well built, and for the price, it overall seems to be pretty good. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.